Hey everyone, it's Lexi and I'm going to be doing my June favorites and I'm going to be filming outside because it's so gorgeous out here. It's really, really hot, but um, the view's pretty. You can see in my pool in the background. But yeah, I was wanting to show you my favorites this month. I haven't done one in a while, it feels like. And I don't actually have any makeup products to show you for this month. I have all kind of like body, hair, um, other beauty products to show you. And I have them in my Victoria's Secret bag. <laughs> Easier to carry that way. Um, okay, so I'm going to head and start off with my hair products. My shampoo that I'm actually using right now is the Four Pair. And I've used this before and actually and it's by John Frieda. And then the next thing I actually picked up a couple of weeks ago, but it's already one of my favorites, is the Suave um, Keratin. It's like a leave-in conditioner. I usually put it in um, right before I dry my hair. And it smells so good. You don't have to use it every day. But um, I do just because it makes the ends of my hair feel a lot softer. Um, and then another thing but is the um, Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. And I love the container. I love the packaging of it. This stuff works so great. It's the best leave-in conditioner I've ever used. And it smells really good. Um, you can actually get this like in my town at CVS. I'm not really sure where else because I don't think Walmart has it. But um, I use it probably once a week. I add some moisture back into it. And it just makes it feel more of a soft texture. I don't know how to explain it. It's more of like a hair mayonnaise to me because I did one of those in like beauty school here recently and you can just tell the difference after you use one of those to how it makes your hair feel. Um, so that's all the hair products. Um, the next one can be face products. Um, actually I was in the store the other day and I was looking at my phone thinking of what moisture, or not moisture, what cleanser to get. I was looking for a new cleanser and I was thinking one for like pores because I know my pores have really been bothering me here recently and um, so I looked up pore minimizer scrub and this is the first thing that popped up and I always smell stuff that's so weird and it's the Olay pore minimizing cleanser and scrub and this was like the top rated that I found and I really have enjoyed using it this month it feels like your pores are a lot smaller after you use it and I thought it looked pretty cool and the um, how it has like the multicolor stuff and that's been my pretty much every night kind of cleanser because I usually don't wash my face like I should but that's what I've been using the next thing for moisturizer I have been using the purpose I guess that's the brand I'm not really sure um, it's a dual treatment moisturizer lotion with an SPF of 15 and I really think it's very important to use an SPF in your um, face routine just because it protects it from the sun and it doesn't like get aging as fast you know and I purchased another one just because I'm almost out of this one and um, it, I love how it's in like a pump bottle and it doesn't really have a scent it's fragrance free it's oil free it's high hypo I think I never said that hypoallergenic and it says it won't clog pores so I definitely repurchased that Okay, then the last two things. I'm going to move that out of you. The last two things. This is another skin product. And I actually just opened this one today. And, like, opened the new one. I've already used an entire bottle of this. But it's called Neutrogena Build a Tan. And I actually stopped using it because I couldn't find it anymore around where I lived. Um, I actually purchased it at CVS. And it's $11 for this, which is so worth it to me. And um, it says gradual sunless lotion, streak free, dries in five minutes. You build your own tan, pretty much. The only thing I don't like about self tanners, and the only thing that I will say to everyone, like not to use them, is that they they are streaky. They you can see them on your wrists, your ankles. It's just awful. <laughs> Whenever you buy one that has like the word bronze in it. I would just stay away from the ones that say bronze, but this is the best one I've found um, for the price and for it being what like the the color of it. Like the color of it isn't orange; it's like more of a brown, 
which I love. So I've been using this and um, I actually put my first application on today and it takes it about two to three hours to actually start showing up. It's a very pretty color. So I would definitely recommend this if you don't want to lay in like tanning beds or you know in the sun, which I do lay in the sun, but I do not do tanning beds. Okay, and then the last thing is my favorite nail polish, and I'm wearing it currently right now. It's a purple, and it's by Essie, my first Essie polish, and it's called Play Date, and you see that, and it's the prettiest purple, um, but yeah, I have it on my nails now, and I've actually been obsessed with purple for this month. I'm not really sure why. It's just, I had purple in my hair, um, I covered up the pink. And sorry, my. Anyways, I covered up the pink and it's now purple. So, um. I am gonna try to do a updated um routine, like everyday routine, because I've pretty much been doing the same thing every day, and it's been working for me. But, um, I also haven't had a lot of time doing stuff during school. I'm actually on break right now. But I started cosmetology school, as y'all may know. And I'm absolutely in love with it. We haven't really... I've done some black highlights, and I did some purple in my hair. And it's just really exciting getting to know, um, more things about doing hair. Your face, skin, nails, all that. So, I can't wait to share with you guys the things that I learned. I'm so excited. But yeah, that's been taking up pretty much all my time, and then of course work, work pretty much every day, and um, I may talk a little bit more about my job later on and stuff, so y'all will know more about it. But other than that, I'm trying to make enough time to edit and um, do videos. I love watching videos. I always make time for that. I'll even watch videos like during my breaks in class and stuff, so... But I just really miss you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.